What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. If you're somewhat into farming or you just want to watch a kid get some stuff done around the farm, you're in the right place. All I ask for you guys to do is if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and push my content further for more farmers and people like you to see it. It really means a lot to me. Thanks guys. Good morning everybody, thank you so much again for tuning in today's video. Fortunately, it's still too wet to get in the fields. It actually snowed like three days ago, which I thought the snow was gonna be completely done, but it's not. But I'm really, really ready to get back in the fields. I haven't been on a tractor or in the field since harvest, and I am just dying and jonesing to get in. And I'm seeing a bunch of people really starting to get into the fields and I'm really jealous about it. It's almost that time though, it's almost that time. We're almost ready to get in the fields and that's just what's keeping me going right now because as you guys know in the winter time when it's just snowy and it's crappy and it's dark, it gets dark too early, it's just kind of a depressing and dark time. Um, and the best time is when spring finally comes and then you finally start getting back in the fields. And it's just like a whole surge of energy goes right back into you as a farmer because you're just like, Thank God we're finally back. So I'm ready for it. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for this weather to turn around, please Lord, uh, we're gonna have to go to the hog building and we're gonna have to fix some more stuff. But before I do anything else, and before we get to fixing some stuff, I gotta do my daily chores. And if some of you are interested in what my daily chores are and haven't seen my daily chores video, I'm gonna have it come out here somewhere. You can click that video, then you can go check out what I do on a daily basis. But for right now, I'm gonna get these done and then we'll get back to going to fix some stuff. So now that I'm done with my daily chores, it's time to actually start fixing some stuff. As I was choring, my dad went to the uh, to town to get some parts to fix the stuff that we gotta fix. So all I'm doing right now is really waiting, so I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys what we're gonna fix. Unless my freaking lens keeps fogging up, then I'm not gonna be able to show you anything. First thing that we gotta fix here is uh, the cable to the tunnel curtain. As you can see here, this cable right here is snapped. It's not supposed to be like that. It's snapped because this pulley system, also we gotta fix this pulley system, because this pulley system is what pretty much snapped the cable and which made this tunnel right here, tunnel curtain, close all the way down and it wouldn't fold up. So we just nailed that tunnel curtain uh, shut just to hold it up because we, you know, it's, it's more likely gonna be cold rather than warm. So we figured we should hold it up, and if it gets uh, warm enough, the other curtains will go down by themselves, and that should weigh out uh, the heat in the barn. We finally head over to this natural curtain right here, and uh, this cable right here, as you can see, should not be broken off like this. This cable should lead all the way to our uh, box right here. This pretty much controls the curtain to drop or shut, whatever the building is telling it to do, it does. But as you can see, the cable broke up there. There's a cable on this side. There's not a cable on this side because this cable on this side snapped. That's a big no-no. On our other building, we don't have these curtains. We got smart about it. We don't like really messing with the curtains and the cables because over time, as these buildings age, these curtains age, these cables age, and there's a lot of fixing that you have to do with these cables and these curtains. So what we did to our last building at our Site 2 barn is we made the building solid-sided. No curtains on the side at all. It's just a solid wall, and at the ends, we have uh, tunnel curtains on both, both rooms. Eventually, down the line, when these are completely shot and we have enough money to really replace these, we would love to solid side all the all our buildings, that way we never have to deal with these curtains again. The number one thing we gotta do today if we do anything else is we gotta get those curtains done. We gotta get those cables fixed because we gotta get those curtains back to where they, you know, when the building wants them to drop, they drop. When they want them to close, they close. How did this cable break and how are we gonna go about fixing it? Well, if you remember, I don't know what video it was, but we had one where this cable was broke and we fixed it, we, we spliced it, we let some cable out of the winch and we spliced it and we thought, yeah, we got it good. Well, here we are again, it's broke. And the reason it's broke is because I didn't look close enough. This pulley will turn and the cable going back and forth has literally cut through the pulley and into the bracket and when it got into the bracket, that's what finally frayed the cable and made it break again. So, 
this pulley should turn and we're going to replace both of these because this one is getting worn the center is getting worn in it but this is what ended up breaking our cable so once again i think we got enough cable on the winch that we can let some extra out through the double back and then we'll cut our cable back there and splice it because otherwise we would have to replace the cable all the way out through the wall of the building all the way down the tunnel curtain we would have to take all the drops off and then hook them up to a new piece of cable so if we can splice it that's going to be much better the first thing we're going to do uh, our cable's already broke so it's really easy to get this bracket off so we're going to take this bracket down and we're going to replace it with a new bracket and these have gotten better the pulley that's in here is poly and the pulley in here is cast iron so this one will last a lot longer than what that one did. That is Toto Finito. Shot. We got it fixed, we got it put back together, we got it spliced the way we wanted it. This time it will hopefully stay and it won't crap out on us again. But So now when the control tells this uh, curtain machine to lift or lift the curtain up or shut it, um, it'll be able to because this cable's fixed. So while I have this curtain machine open, we might as well just grease it up. That way we don't have to do it later on, right? Yeah. I'm making Shorty stretch a little bit so hopefully he gets taller. <laughs> so now that that's done, we're going to head over to the west side of our hog building and we are going to fix the natural curtain cable and we're also going to hook it up to that curtain machine because as I showed you guys before, it's broken off and it's not connected to that curtain machine. Kind of just like it was in there, uh, the cable just snapped. I almost forgot. Before we do that, we got to head over to the the north side of our building we got to take the nails out of the curtain that we just fixed i also forgot to mention that we're going to fix these things called the curtain drops these right here and what these curtain drops do is they're, they're spread out evenly throughout the building every four feet there's a curtain drop and what pretty much what it does is it carries the whole weight of the curtain it picks up the curtain and it evenly picks it up that way it's easy for the curtain to drop it's easy for the curtain to get lifted up with no problems but sometimes these things just like the other pulleys they crap out on us and we got to replace them so we're going to go down there and we're going to replace some more curtain drops somebody drop the bucket full of all the tools in the back of his pickup truck good thing i was here good thing save the, the day so we're here, so we're gonna fix these drop cables, and I'm just gonna set you guys up and put you on a time lapse, and we're gonna just get these babies fixed. All right, so we just had some lunch. We took a little bit of a break. Now we're gonna head back up there and we're gonna fix that natural tunnel curtain cable along with the natural tunnel um, machine, natural tunnel curtain machine. We're gonna fix that as well. What are we doing in here? Another one of these cables broke. It never ends. I just came in here to get my Allen wrenches and this damn thing is broken. We just greased this thing up. Well, the... Oh my gosh. The cable broke off the pulley, so it's not as bad as it could be, but it's definitely not. 
what I wanted to do. Well, that just threw us for a loop. Did not expect that to happen. So instead of heading over to the west side of our building and fixing that, we're gonna stay inside and we're gonna fix this tunnel curtain here. Never ends. All right, so as you can see, we got it all good to go. It's, if you can see closely, it's slowly creeping up and closing, which is good. We got the cable fixed and everything's good there. Now it's finally time to fix the last thing that we want to fix. I've said it many times. Duke always has to keep up. While we have that, that curtain machine open, we forgot to grab the grease gun. So I'm currently walking back to the building going to get the grease gun. I think you guys have seen enough of us fixing cables, fixing curtain machines, and by now you probably know what the hell we're doing. So I'm probably not going to show us fixing this last one just because it's super, super repetitive. A lot of the stuff we do around here, it's more of the same. And when you do one job, just like those curtain machines, there's three curtain machines per 1,200 room. So if we have a bunch of curtain machines we gotta fix and a bunch of curtain cables we gotta fix. It's a lot of the same. <clears throat> got it. So we just got done and we got this curtain, uh, this cable fixed so this curtain's good to go. Anytime the control turns on and wants it to go up or go down, it'll be good to go. So that's pretty much it guys. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out, pushes my content further for more farmers and people like you to see it. If you like what I'm about and what this farm's about, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh yeah, don't forget to have a great day. See ya. Thank you.